Hello goddess, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to this week's Twin Flame Tuesday. My name is Rochelle, and welcome to my channel here at Empowerment Experiences, where we look for and find our power all along this, which is each our own self-love empowerment journey, which for those who are familiar, if you're also on a twin flame journey, well, or as I like to say, a healing twin flames journey, then by all means, you are definitely on a self-love empowerment journey on steroids. And that is again why here at Empowerment Experiences, we talk about all things encompassing that self-love empowerment from practices, tools, resources, and of course, information, wisdom, guidance on navigating this self-love empowerment journey. And well, there we are. With that, shall we go ahead and dive into this week's message that is ready to come? I know for certain <sighs> that it's time to just dive into the cards. Usually I have some message that's come through when we've even just started the video. This morning, Twin Flame Tuesday, we are in a space where, no, straight to the cards. Well, there we go. <laughs> Already starting in there, and it is about being intentional, how you're showing up. That's where we are. Super Sign Sunday was really bringing that attention into you, stepping into that true goddess self, looking at the changes that need to be made. And now here moving forward with Twin Flame Tuesday, it is yet again aligning with that and amplifying you showing up intentionally. You creating an intention behind everything that you do, how you be, how you feel, what you create, any which way that you are showing up in this world that you are contributing to your experience here to be intentional about all that you do. Because right now it is about healing the past lives, the lives in which you were not intentional, where you perpetuated the karma from the lives before this. And now in this one, this life, you are being asked to heal all these other past lives. That's why this life is so intense, why it's so excruciating. Just look at what's happening in the world. The entire collective is having to heal past life karma. All these old lessons being brought back, back into the light so we can choose something different so we create something different that is the purpose of intention is that you you visualize the outcome you desire you intend to align this experience that you are having with the outcome that you desire whatever that is the outcome perhaps simply being how you want to just show up and experience that experience you're about to have. That is what it is to be an empowered goddess, is to be choosing how you show up, choosing your state of being, being intentional about your experience, intentionally focusing on your healing, intentionally holding space for yourself, intentionally cultivating that love for yourself. Finally, in this life, after all the past lives that you may have been persecuted and condemned and made to feel so worthless, this is that life that you rise, goddess. This is that life that you are reclaiming all of your motherfucking power and saying enough is enough. This time I'm awake, I'm aware, and I am intentional about this life. I know for me, I needed to hear that. And we are literally, I'm feeling at this point, getting at this point that we are being asked as divine feminines to again, clarify who is that goddess self? And then in turn, how can you be intentional in showing up as her? What 
thoughts, what beliefs, what practices, what habits, what actions can you shift into in order to be stepping into that goddess self within you that you truly are so you can finally fully begin to show up as her truly wow <laughs> because it is and this is the twin flame card yet also at the same time of course then it is the self-love card because you are the one true love that could ever truly fully completely know all that is you and therefore love all that is you yes our twin flames are mirrors and this is very much mirrored in the connection when it's a true twin flame connection you better believe things are mirrored they may be in obviously not maybe but most likely are going to be in their each their own context such as my my dm and i i'm from america he's from india so we have we are raised with different yet similar beliefs in terms of the context the limitations the self-sabotage the self-loathing the unworthiness you know feeling as though you don't have freedom to make your own choices be who you are because i still had that you know i grew up in religion i grew up in that limiting uh reality for the most part as well not as extremely limiting i feel in a lot of ways as my twin flame however in its own way yes it was equally limiting so it's still again that's what we're being asked is to see what we're being asked to see and that is a yet another continuation of course from super sign sunday to allow yourself to see all that you're being asked to see so you can then again be intentional about the changes that you're making the changes that you are being asked to flow with again from super sign sunday and uh yeah this is uh quite a um oh hello that card jumped out underneath on the bottom of the deck here Definitely being gentle with yourself is an act of self-love. It is realizing again that cultivating that love for yourself is about getting off your own back. <laughs> it is about that holding space for yourself, allowing yourself to be where you are. One of the greatest challenges of this self-love empowerment journey that I witnessed in my own self and I see in clients who come to me that beating yourself up is the thing that undermines any newly integrating states of being. It will undermine them, especially when they're contradictory when one's self-love that you're trying to call in and expand within you, but the other one's self-loathing. And so if you're beating yourself up and you're loathing on yourself, then that self-love, all that self-love work is going to be canceled out by the self-loathing, by beating yourself up, by undermining this very progress that you're making and desiring to make on your self-love empowerment growth journey, shall we say, right? So be kind. Be very kind with yourself. Be very gentle. Honor that you, you are really just beginning this journey. This perpetual going and growing journey. So it's really going to be allowing yourself to be where you are. Again, I just keep hearing, get off your own back. Be intentional about how, again, how you are showing up. How what response would you like in your environment here and i just caught 927 and i have to share with you that 927 i also caught it earlier i came in the room uh at the exact moment that it was 927 on my clock and uh it was you know 927 and i know for certain 927 definitely has those underlying energies of 
being the true you that you've come to be, be fully expressed in all that you are, all your divinity. And um, let's see here. Be you true as only you can be you. You are always on your path. You're in always the right place. And that's definitely something I was feeling to share with you is this mantra. I am where I am and I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I've definitely shared this one before, but I feel it's so powerful that I will share it indefinitely. You can be assured of that. But again, it is that I am where I am and I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Because if I were supposed to be anywhere other than where I am, I would be. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, really helps you to get off your own back, doesn't it? Right? So realize that exactly where you are is where you are supposed to be. So again, to be intentional about where you are in your journey and in aligning yourself with where you want to be going. Right? So that's, that's where we are for this Twin Flame Tuesday is that intentional living. All right. And that is all we are getting from that deck let's go ahead and jump on in to obviously how to work your light in this intention this intentional living that we are really shifting into right this this intention to be intentional is to be conscious right to be purposeful in your actions in your thoughts in your words in your way of being right to be stepping into that power of choice okay? and then being gentle with yourself right that act of self-love of getting off your own back right because we tend to again want that also want that union with our divine masculines and and we tend to ride them too right where we're like oh my god he needs to hurry up and wake up and he's not doing well Stop focusing on him and come back to focusing on you because it is about you breaking the chain and he will too. These ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Again, that rewriting the future is that consciousness shift. It is being intentional about what you are creating moving forward. That is what it is to be an empowered goddess, an empowered empath empowered period is to be intentional to be purposeful about your experience and i assure you i'm definitely still practicing at this as well it's very easy to slip into the heaviness of the matrix of this reality that we've been taught to perceive reality to be. And clearly that perception is coming up again. Of course it would for this week, for Twin Flame Tuesday, as it has in Super Sign Sunday, because that's what this again is about. You shifting your perspective about yourself, your perception about your reality, your perception about what power you do have versus what you actually have, right? The reality, the reality of it getting beyond that which is perceived reality to that which actually is reality because the reality within we which we within which we exist is a fabricated reality it's a simulation in the respect that it is an it's a matrix and it's far beyond what our minds can truly wrap around and comprehend however when you are in that space of seeing the bigger picture and you have for a while because really what your life experiences have afforded you you're able to see the perspective of reality from a completely different angle right and that then affords you uh right a more expanded experience and that's what we're all here for right we're here to learn grow expand and ascend to reclaim our power through learning to love that which is ourself and that is what this twin flame journey is all about is that individual that soul connection waking you up 
to your gifts within yourself, to your truth within you, to your power within you, to liberate yourself from who you are not so you can expand into and be fully expressed of all that which you are. That's, that's where we are. So break the chain, goddess. It's, it is time that you rewrite your story. You tell a new story. This is definitely something, this is a process that we do in my Empowered with Rochelle All Access Pass. That's been the challenge for me is to convey to you the encompassment of all which we include in what is a six month experience right and in those six months you are guaranteed to find yourself far more in your power than you have ever fathomed yourself to be or experienced yourself to be or thought you could be especially on this twin flame journey right especially on this twin flame journey and that's why in speaking with uh one of my clients this evening it was about the knowing that you're not going to get into that empowered space after one session with me or one month with me because it takes 66 days just to even create a habit truly to solidify something as habitual where you don't have to even think about it it becomes subconscious and by the time you hit 90 days it's then a full integration of your lifestyle it is then truly a fully integrated part of you 90 days so imagine and that's if you're actually staying on top of that so six months is that time period that's really going to get you that solid foundation for your twin flame self-love empowerment journey wow and we just had cards flip themselves over of course which is how can you mother yourself right again this self-love that's where you're being asked to focus for this twin flame tuesday is again focusing on you how can you again give yourself what you did not get being gentle with yourself we are reparenting ourselves those that, that inner child healing you can be sure that is definitely also a major part of where the collective is all these inner child woundings, traumas, abuses, neglect, being taught that we're not good enough, we're unworthy, we're less than, this whole nonsense of original sin, all of these burdens of manipulation placed upon the human population that, that diminish the human spirit. We're here to break those systems. We're here to crash the matrix. And uh, we're not alone in this. We are not alone in this. That we have our ancestors, ancient ancestors. We have spirit guides, angels, archangels. We are so supported in this great awakening journey, this consciousness shift, this completely new earth rising right now keepers of the earth we are here to bring mother earth gaia out of this lower frequency state of being that she has existed in for millennia it is time to ascend out of that that third dimension density into fifth dimension and we're all part of that again as keepers of the earth we are stewards for this journey of ascension from 3d to 5d and that is exactly why it is about being intentional it is about showing up on purpose to align yourself with the outcome that we desire because that is where humanity is ascending to is consciousness expanded awakening consciousness expanding consciousness right there is the woke community and there is the awake or awakening community woke is broke woke is the feeding into the matrix narrative being manipulated being brainwashed right being pretty much basically a pawn of the matrix 
right? Falling into the feeding racism and division and all the shadows. Woke is representative of the shadows of this realm. Whereas awake or awakening implies that you have... You are, you are awake now to seeing that things are not what you've been taught, yet you dismiss nothing at a glance and you question everything because it is a perpetual journey of awakening. You'll never know everything. You'll never be fully uh, understanding. And again, you'll, just, you'll never know everything. It's not your place to know. It's not your place to know. Ah. Uh. breath a moment here and with that as the divine feminines is focusing on being intentional while the divine masculines are also healing their past life karma just as the divine feminines have been doing for quite some time right I know you can agree sweet goddess sister I uh, know you can agree we have been healing this life and our past lives for years now, or so it feels like, right? But that's just it. Again, we, we have this, it's a, it's a cyclical thing, right? We come back around. That lesson will come back around, back around in some other form to further cement the learning of that lesson and the subsequent implementation of it, right? True, And then, of course, the true integration of it. So that's, that's what we got, you know, and the divine masculine, he is definitely learning how to love himself too, right? That is this, this past life karma. So this is intriguing. Look, maple with generosity, right? That is, uh, again, being generous with yourself, being generous with the love for yourself. That is exactly what I am hearing with this card from the Divine Masculine and what he wants you to know at this time is that what he's asking of you is to be generous with the, the love that you were so quick to give to him, to give equally and then some back to yourself, to be exceptionally generous with that love that really truly is yours. It's cultivated from within you. Because that generosity is the very thing that is going to create that stability in you and therefore in your life. And of course, in this connection, because you cannot be dependent, AKA codependent on your counterpart to truly fully love you. You have to be in that place right here of truly, fully loving you, being intentional about that love. And, you know, back to number 927, because I'm sure of it. I just saw that. Uh, I did not know. Cultivate balance and harmony, passion and love, important decisions, right? It was not 927. There was a, you're always slow, steady, all in divine timing. Intriguing. Huh. Generosity, stability. You have all you need to make the right choice for you. That would definitely play into that stability space. And uh, with that, let's, uh, again, we have 927 and I'm really... intrigued to see so again divine masculine saying be generous with yourself with the love that you are so generous with him so that will bring the stability into the connection because it's going to create stability within yourself this is that how can i mother myself right how can you truly love yourself? That's that's what this Twin Flame Tuesday is, again, focused on. Loving yourself, being that true you. Oh my goodness, we got three, two, one. Let's see what that, 927, three, two, one. Do, 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 three, two, one. 
begin pursuing your heart's desires focus on that which excites you oh boom know thyself your passions strengths and all that you are so to know what you are not get in touch with all aspects of your life so to get into alignment with your true self wow that is those right there that is our three two one right here to know thyself that is very much the theme for this week is again knowing who you are as that goddess within you and to show up as her to be intentional again about how you're showing up to like this like three two one is bringing the message of clarifying who you are not breaking the chain of this past life nonsense so you can be stepping into all that is you all of your power balance harmony stability Wow, this was a very powerful yet quick message for us for this Twin Flame Tuesday. And um, again, I remind you that I am here to support you. I remind you that the power to step into this goddess version of you, that who you truly are, that power it is in you. It's in your hands to do this. But you have to reclaim that power and actually put this into practice. Actually clarify for yourself. Again, do this journaling work to clarify who am I not? What things, again, are not who I truly am? What things do not light me up versus who I am? How would I like to be showing up? What kind of impact would I like to have on this world what kind of legacy would I like to leave how would I like to be remembered when someone has an interaction with me right all of these questions to ask so you can clarify who you are truly versus who you are not right and we even dive into a lot of this uh, well we touch on it a bit for sure in my 17 day self-love empowerment challenge which comes as part of, of course, the it's more extended version of the Twin Flame Confirmation Checklist. Um, that's just simply sharing with you things that I have come to know about this journey uh, to confirm yes or no, if it's your Twin Flame. But I assure you, Goddess, if you're looking for that confirmation, that checklist, you are definitely looking for empowerment. You may or may not be aware of that yet. But you are ready and it is time for you to be stepping into that power to rise and thrive this is the year 2022 this is the year where you all of us are being forced we have no choice because this is that ascension journey where we are being forced to choose 3d or 5d which are you choosing being intentional being intentional with that I bid you adieu I say thank you for sharing this time with me and uh, letting me into your world and of course you participating in mine for a moment sharing in my energy I would love to know that you were here you stopped by of course drop a comment even a few emojis I'll definitely reply say hi how you doing and uh, like I've said, any questions, any, any, any way that I can help you or create, uh, you know, other content to serve you, by all means, please. I'd love to hear any aha moments that you may have experienced in this video or any others. I'm truly here for you, goddess. I, this is my purpose. This is my mission. This is what lights me up. This is what keeps me going even on the shit days, shall we say, right? Because we all have those right and it's always so important to know your why so that no matter how bad it gets you can keep holding on and keep going to fulfill your why to be in that energy and with that i know my why is about me being here to remind you that the power 
is in your hands, the power to shift from subconscious and unconscious living into conscious and intentional living, that the time is now to recognize this power in your hands because the power, it has always, always, always been inside you. And I'm here to guide you into and through discovering this and reconnecting with this so you can rise and thrive on your journey. With that, I will see you next time, goddess. Namaste.